Hello and welcome to another Pathways video. This series is designed to assist faculty who are new to Conestoga College getting ready to teach their first course. And uh, in this video, we're going to look at the materials that are provided. My name is Laura Stoutenberg and I'm a teaching and learning consultant here at Conestoga. During this video, we will talk about how to identify and obtain the resources that are listed in your course outline. Uh, we'll look at how to find resources in eConestoga if such resources are available for your course. Uh, we will show you how to access educational apps through it.conestogac.on.ca and we'll talk about how to access library support. So the first thing you'll want to do is check the resources that are expected as listed on your course outline. So these will be uh, resources that your students will be expected to obtain and you should be able to obtain them as well and we'll talk about how you do that in the next couple of slides. You'll notice that in this sample from the Business 1021 course outline, um, the, the, the resource is actually part of the e-text program. So it'll be an e-text book and let's show you how to get a copy and to be ready to assist your students if they need help getting a copy. So let's talk first about working with an e-text and this is the link uh, to the bookstore information on the subject. So how do you obtain your instructor copy of the e-text? Follow the step-by-step -step instructions found in the link uh, above but which I will also post in the text below our video. Uh, so then the next question is how do you add that resource, the e-text link, to your course shell so that all of your students will have access to it? So prior to the start of the term, e-text instructors will be emailed one of the following videos on how to add their course materials to eConestoga for student access. So you're going to be, going to, going to be getting the appropriate video in an email. There's also a link to a recorded webinar in the text below this video. And all of this information is available on the bookstore website at this link, which you can find below the video. At that same bookstore website, if you look for this uh, image, you can click and find a schedule of help sessions, which you can attend for any information you need about e-text program support or uh, support in setting up publisher courseware. There are also sessions available for students and you can make your students aware of uh, sessions to help them if they're having any trouble with the e-texts. Notice um, at the bottom of this image from the bookstore, it says if you would like to speak to a bookstore representative directly, please contact them here. You're going to click on that and you can get direct assistance. For course textbooks that are not part of an e-text program, the bookstore has compiled a list of contact information for a number of different publishers, and you can find it at the link on the screen, and that link will be added to the text below. And the advice from the bookstore is to check with the admin support for your program's procedure for obtaining a desk copy of your textbook, because the procedure differs from program to program. When you first receive your course shell in Econestoga before the beginning of the semester, it will be empty. So it will be your task to fill the course shell with the essential elements, which include a course information module, which will include a welcome to the course, a, an instructional plan, and information about the instructor. And Next will be an evaluations module, which will include descriptions of each assessment, uh, instructions for how to submit the assessment, and information about how it will be marked. You will also have content modules for each week or unit of the course. And in the content module, you will add any PowerPoint, any video links, any handouts that you will be using to teach the course. So, so students should be able to go into the appropriate week of the course before you do your teaching to access the materials that you're going to use. Now, in many cases, there will be a model course shell. 
if there is a course shell for your course, a model course shell, you'll find that out from your chair or your program manager. And they will put you in contact with the faculty member who can help you access the model course shell. And you'll be able to import the information from the model course shell into your course shell. And you're looking right now at a model course shell from a trades and apprenticeship. Um, this is the Welding 2000 course shell. And you can see already that the welcome is there. There's an instructional plan that the, the, that the faculty member can simply update. And there's an about the instructor uh, template that the faculty member can go in and update. There is also information about every single evaluation. And for every week of the course, you can click and you can find any PowerPoints that are going to be used, uh, instructional materials that will supplement the course text, and any video links or other resources that uh, are available for the faculty member to use. There, there, are, there are not model course shells for every single course at Conestoga, but if there is one, you definitely want to find out how to access it um, and use it. Among the resources available to you through Conestoga are the educational apps, which you can download at it.conestogac.on.ca. Go to that website, click on downloads, and scroll all the way down, and you will find especially those bottom three Mentimeter, Kahoot, and Padlet. And I will describe one of those for you to get an idea of how these apps can be of use. So Kahoot is a quiz app that you can use to create either multiple choice or true false questions for your students. It's quite versatile. You can either have the students participate anonymously, all together synchronously, or you can create an asynchronous link so that students can either try the quiz on their own or work together in small groups, for example, in a breakout room. And of course, you have access to innumerable resources through the library, most of which you can access right online. So for example, right here on the front page of the library website, I can type a topic into the catalog, click, and it will take me to a list of topics. Now, if I want access to most of this, I'm going to have to sign in and you'll use your Conestoga um, ID and password to enter the uh, library, as well I, of course, can sort by various um, elements to narrow down my search. But you ask yourself, I would like a little bit more assistance than that, or I would like to ask questions about how to use these um, links to these materials in my class. Well, what I suggest you do is go back to uh, the home page of the library, click on the four faculty icon, and then click on Meet Your Program Liaison. As you scroll down this page, you will find that there are uh, librarians and library technologists who are specifically uh, geared to help different schools within the college. So what I suggest you do is have a look at what's available and who is available for different uh, subject areas and choose the subject area that is closest to what you're teaching. You can see that there are other links on the left here to various resources and services. If you want to talk to someone and you're not sure who, you can. You, if you look on the bottom left, and you might not be able to see it in the screen, it says contact us. I'm gonna, or sorry, the bottom right. Uh, I'm gonna click on contact us. And there's an email and there's also a chat uh, that you can chat. Now this will take you to, um, to a service that is actually for all of the colleges across Ontario, but the email will go directly to Conestoga. And this brings us to the end of our Pathways video on reviewing materials provided. If you have any questions or if you would like to touch base with a consultant, please contact us at teachingandlearning at conestogac.on.ca. And I hope you have a wonderful semester.